Welcome everybody to a new session today with Tzvi from an app called Frank. He's the CEO and founder. Okay, welcome everybody. We are here at the offices uh, of an app called Frank with uh, the CEO and founder Tzvi. So tell me a little bit about uh, yourself. Thanks and nice to meet. Um, so my name is Tzvi Fogel. Originally I'm from Hashmonaim. It's a small settlement near Modin. I went to Golani, which is a unit in the IDF. Yep. And after that I went to the United States and opened a small cart of French grapes. I hope you like <laughs> French food. Uh, it was delicious. Um, I came back, started studying in the Hebrew University. Yep. And I graduated as an MBA in uh, business management. Yeah. And uh, recently, a year and a half, I opened Frank. So, so tell me a little bit about Frank. Uh, what do you do? Like, what is this app doing? So, uh, I'll start with a small story. Yeah. About a year and a half ago, I went on a date with a very nice girl, and I felt that we were clicking. Yeah. Um, a day or two after, I called her and said, "Okay, where do you want to go?" And she said, "You know." It's not you, it's me. You probably, you know, all of us <laughs> at no, a certain point heard it, gave it or heard it. Um, and what passed through my mind in this moment is what did I do wrong? Yeah. Have I spoke too much? Um, am I not attractive in her eyes? Uh, maybe it's not about me. Maybe it's an ex that came back to the picture. But the thing is that we don't get feedback. People don't really uh, tell us what they really think. Even if we go to a job interview, you mm -hmm. know, we speak with the interviewer and we feel that everything is fine. Sometimes we'll get a negative answer and we won't know what we did wrong. And that is actually an obstacle in the way of improving for the next job interview. Yeah. Using Frank, Frank is actually a platform which enables our friends, our family, the people that know us the best to give us honest and frank <laughs> feedback. Okay, very nice. So tell me, um, it sounds like the concept sounds very familiar to me. Like it's been around the concept of like, I think it's called Secret, one is of the app, and the one in Israel launched very recently, Blind Spot. Tell me, how do you differentiate yourself uh, with these apps? Actually, that's a very good question. And this answer actually comes up many times. Um, but there is a, a big main difference between us and the other systems that were in the past. The thing is, are you positive or negative? What is the drive that, make you, that brought you into this business? And mine was positive. Mm -hmm. I want to help people to, uh, the to make the communication between people better. I want to, s to make this place a better, a better place for all of us. Um, I'm not trying to make people you know, uh, harass each other or annoy each other. Mm -hmm. So what we did in our platform is, first of all, it's private. Meaning, whatever people write about you, you'll be the only one to see it. So there is no shaming. Yeah. People won't see things written about you and you'll feel bad, oh, everybody knows now what people think about me. Yeah. The second point is a special system that analyzes bad words. So if someone wrote you a negative feedback, something that can hurt you, the system will catch it and will stop it in the way. So you won't get bad words, curses, racist, you know, words. Interesting. So tell me a little bit, uh, I'm always interested in hearing of entrepreneurs about their struggles and like how is it to actually found a company. So tell me a little bit about the first days of your company. How did you, when did you make this switch of like, I have to start it? Like what, what were the, the biggest struggles you had when you started this company? Um, I think entrepreneurship is fire that burns inside of you. you it's something that you cannot resist. I, uh, it's something that I ne always had from the day, from the moment that I remember myself when I was a small kid. I sold um, flowers from door to door. Yeah. I just, you know, I come from a religious small settlement. Everybody buys flowers for Saturday. I said, if me, you know, small kid will go with a bucket with <laughs> some flowers from door to door, maybe it will be successful. And I did it, and many people bought it. 
And I said, hey, why should it only be me? So I hired my sisters and brothers to sell together with me. It was very successful. So we expanded to the settlements around. And then I started hiring the friends of my sister and brothers. Eventually, I went to the army and I stopped. But <laughs> the, the fire, you know, the passion that you have growing and always trying to think how to expand, it's something that is inside me. Of course, it's not easy. It's very, very difficult. I believe every startup, um, every entrepreneur uh, incurs many difficulties, many times that it, you think that it's almost impossible to continue. Mm -hmm. But there is always a solution Interesting. if you believe enough in yourself. Interesting. So how, just like one little side point, how is it going with fundraising? Is that like something that you feel is really difficult? Because with every tech crunch, it, think, it seems to me that everyone is raising money left and right. So is it really that feeling or is it hard? Um, it's very hard to raise money. Um, you need to convince people around you that the idea is so good mm -hmm. that it's better to put the money not in the bank, but in you. Yeah. Um, I believe that um, People that invest money, investors, they don't invest usually in idea because the world is full of ideas, uh, especially in Israel. You speak <laughs> with someone, he thought about, you know, ways before ways, and he thought about, you know, Google before Google. Um, it's not the idea, it's the execution yeah. and the persistence. And if someone um, decides to invest, he look in your eyes and he say, I want to invest in you. So it's very difficult to convince you that you are the one mm -hmm. that he needs to invest in. Okay, good. Thank you very much, Tzvi, for this That's informative uh, interview with some uh, uh, practical entrepreneurial uh, advice. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode of a uh, meeting with Tzvi, the CEO and co-founder of, uh, CEO and founder, CEO and founder of Frank. See you soon with a new episode.